is saying the M4 MacBook Air is fast, but what happens when you actually try to break it? I spent 7 days pushing this thing to its limit. 4K video editing, hunting for that spinning beach ball, and running it down for 9 hours straight every single day. My first encounter of using a computer was an old Mac. Unfortunately, I don't even remember which version it was running. Then came Windows 10 and later Windows 11 across multiple devices. My first personal laptop was an HP with a Celeron chip. It was painfully slow and Fortunately, I upgraded to the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga L13 Gen 3. I won't go too deep into that, but all I can say is it had an AMD Ryzen 5 chip, but I've already made a whole video about that. Now I've moved to macOS Sequoia, which is the latest version of macOS as I'm writing this. At first, I wasn't sure about moving all my files over, but I'm really starting to like the system, especially AirDrop. That thing is magic. <laughs> I loaded up Final Cut Pro, yeah the trial. I wasn't just scrubbing around, I was cutting, adding effects and rendering. Meanwhile, I had Activity Monitor open like a hawk, watching for any spikes in swap usage. The Activity Monitor is basically the macOS version of Task Manager, but with a cleaner design. Even when swap usage did eventually climb, it never felt slow. No beach ball of death, no stutters, absolutely nothing. Coming from Windows, I had to tweak a few things to make it feel like home. The Windows emojis are basic yellow blobs with some colour. But on Mac, clean, shaded, detailed. And don't get me started on the font rendering. It's so sharp it looks like someone printed the text onto the screen. And we all thank the Retina display for that. Here's my honest take, and you could probably read it on anywhere on the internet. Any MacBook since 2020 isn't just fast, it's also reliable. There are some apps that will push it harder than others. I've listed the ones that hit the system, harvest in the description below. Pa